Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel ST Education. Today we will see class 9 subject science, chapter 10, information communication technology, ICT, exercise solution. Question 1. Fill in the blanks to complete these statements. Justify these statements. Question A. While working with a computer, we can read the information stored in its memory and perform other actions in fill-in-the-blank memory. Answer Internal or Primary Memory For the Central Processing Unit CPU to process the program, instructions and data, this must be loaded into the computer's internal memory. Question B while presenting pictures and videos about the works of scientists, we can use fill in the blank. Answer A presentation software. A presentation software, for example PowerPoint, allows images as well as videos to be placed on a slide. Question C To draw graphs based on the quantitative information obtained in an experiment. One uses fill in the blank. Answer A spreadsheet program or Microsoft Excel. A spreadsheet program, example Excel, has facilities for graphical representation of data as a graph or a chart. Question D The first generation computers used to shut down because of fill in the blank. Answer Excessive heat. First generation computers were built using walls. Walls consumed lot of electricity and generated lot of heat. The heat caused frequent burn out of the walls which stopped the computers from working. Question E. A computer will not work unless fill in the blank is supplied to it. Answer. Electric power. A computer is an electronic device that needs electrical power to work. Question 2. Answer the following questions. A. Explain the role and importance of information communication in science and technology. Answer. ICT plays a key role in creating, displaying, collecting, processing and communicating information in the field of science and technology. Following is the importance of ICT in science and technology. First, access to wide range of information. Second, storing of data. Third, processing of data. Fourth, securing work files. Fifth, proper representation of data. Question B. Which application software in the computer system did you find useful while studying science and how? Answer Microsoft Word to write down the information collected and making a document for further evaluation. Then Microsoft Excel to draw graph based on the obtained numerical information from the experiment. And Internet Explorer to search for information for in finding out the solution and solving the queries by reading the available information. Question C. How does a computer work? Answer. First, input unit. All types of information or data is entered into the computer through this unit. Generally, a keyboard is used to enter data or information. Second, processor, processing unit, first memory unit, second control unit, and third ALU unit, third output unit, the result or solution or the answer is eventually sent to the output unit, generally a screen or monitor or printer is used as an output unit. Question D. What precautions should be taken while using various types of software on the computer? Answer. Antivirus must be installed. Software should be legal and from a trusted place. Application should be scanned before using. 
pirated software should not be used. Provide all necessary data to obtain the best possible results. Question E. What are the various devices used in information communication? How are they used in the context of science? Answer. Various devices used in information communication are computer, laptops, mobiles, radios, television, etc. Computers, laptops and mobiles help in assessing, collecting, processing, communicating, sharing and storing of information. It helps in determining the appropriate conclusions in all fields including the field of science. Television help in getting information about the new and innovative technology. Question 3. Using a spreadsheet, draw graphs between distance and time using the information about the movements of Amar, Akbar and Anthony given in the table on page 4 in the lesson Laws of Motion. What precautions will you take while drawing the graph? Answers Precautions to be taken while drawing a graph. The data should be kept in tabular form. Whenever there is drag and fill option used, smart tag option should be used after drag data to fill data as required. Entered data should be formatted in the manner required. Various types of graphs can be created by using the same data, so appropriate graph should be selected. Chart titles and access titles should be updated as per the data. Question 4. Explain the differences between the different generations of computers. How did science contribute to these developments? Answer. Generation 1. Time period 1946 to 1956. Development. Vacuum tubes. Characteristics. Huge in size, expensive, lot of electricity consumption, heat generation. Generation second, time period 1956 to 1963. Development, transistors, characteristics, frequent shutdowns, superior to first generation, smart in size and fast, cheaper as compared to first generation. Less consumption of electricity. Generation 3rd Time period 1963 to 1971 Development IC Characteristics Keyboards and monitors OS Smaller and still cheaper. Generation 4th Time period 1971 to 2010 Development Microprocessor Characteristics Use of Internet, GUI, Introduction of Portable Devices like Mobiles, Laptops, etc. Generation 5th Time Period 2010-2 Till Date Development Artificial Intelligence, AI Characteristics, Voice, Recognition, Sensors, Nanotechnology First generation computers occupied the entire room, but due to advancement in science and technology, today's computer fits into our pockets. Initially, computers needed a specific language to interact, but today we use voice recognition for the same. Question 5. What devices will you use to share with others the knowledge that you have. Answer. Devices like radios, televisions, pen drives, computers, laptops, mobiles, landlines, hard drives, CDs, memory cards help us in sharing our knowledge with others. Question 6. Using information communication technology, prepare PowerPoint presentations on at least three topics in your textbook. Make a flowchart of the steps you used while making these pre presentations. Answer. 
steps for preparation of PowerPoint presentations. Step 1. Select Microsoft PowerPoint from the Start option. Step 2. Create a new file from a program command. Step 3. Choose a design layout for the background. Step 4. Create appropriate title page. Step 5. Add slides according to the requirement. Step 6. Add pictures, videos, charts, etc. to support your presentation. Step 7. Add trans transitions to your slides and animation to your content. Step 8. Preview and play the presentation. Question 7. Which technical difficulties did you face while using the computer? What did you do to overcome them? Answer. Lagging. Due to lot of applications running at the same time, the computer starts lagging and becomes slow. Closing a few applications helped solve the problem of lagging. Viruses and bugs. Cyber crimes are rising daily. Even from single mail, the computer can be attacked by viruses. Installing valid antivirus helps solve the problem of viruses and bugs. Breach, breach, and pri breach of privacy. Confidential information being assessed by anyone is the breach of privacy. Put Putting privacy setting in place helps solve the problem. Physical damage. Hardware over a period of time might get physically damaged. Taking precautions while using will help to solve the problem. Our Chapter 10 Information and Communication Technology ICT Exercise Solutions are completed. If you like this video and want to see the similar videos, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel SG Education. Thank you.